Hello everyone. Well, I've had awful trouble with my rugs of late, so I've had to call the doctor. The rug doctor. Yes, I have a rug doctor now. I've had a rug doctor before. I've still got a rug doctor. I've got that small portable one. But this is the Mighty Pro X3, the big daddy of rug doctors. Shall we get it open? Yes, I finally decided to get the rug doctor. Now, I could have popped to my local supermarket and hired one for 24 or 48 hours for relatively little money, but I didn't really want to use a carpet shampooer that's been in somebody else's house. You know, I'm a bit funny that way. Um, you don't know what they've been cleaning up with it, do you? So if you've got your own, you know what's been cleaned up with it. Right, this is a very thick cable. Wow. Look at that. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's a it's a thick one. Right, let's see how to get this thing out. It's Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, right. Oh, that's all very nice. First of all, we have the hose and the upholstery tool. I'll be seeing how far this reaches up. It's quite a long hose but I'm not sure if it's long enough to reach to the top of the stairs. But we'll see when I do a demo. But this is the hose that plugs in. Feels quite uh, strong compared to say a Bissell or a Vax. And here's the uh, hand piece. Just got a fixed brush on that. You've got your suction at the front obviously and it's clear so you can see all the water being sucked up. But no, that doesn't vibrate like the portable model. Um, so yes, it comes in this uh, handy mesh bag. We can take it out. There we go, put it to one side for a minute. And also, inside the mesh bag, there's a, a pocket that contains all the instructions. This has a five-year limited consumer warranty, so it will exclude things like wear parts, such as the vibrating brush. But I've been on Rug Doctor's website and you can buy parts for this. And the actual brush that might wear down after a lot of use is quite cheap. I think it was under £10 for a new one of those. So here we have the Mighty Pro X3, or times 3 What's this? And a little... Uh, your machine has been water tested as part of normal quality assurance. Some liquid may, re may remain in the lower tank as a result. Right, so I'll look at that later. Here it is. Well, it's fully assembled, I believe. All I have to do is lift it out. Now, I know there are carpet cleaners, according to which the Consumers Association, which have tested carpet cleaners. This rug doctor wasn't really recommended. They didn't recommend you bought it. They said it was fine to rent. It did a good job, but it wasn't worth buying. And it's also very noisy. But what I decided to get one, I mean, because a lot of the which recommended um, Vax and Bissell models above this, there were several models that got best buys. This didn't. I think this called, called, um, got 60% for a score and some of the best carpet washers were getting 80 plus percent. So, right, let's see if I can lift it out. And it is very, very heavy, apparently. No, it's not that heavy. <coughs> Yes, it is quite heavy. It is quite heavy for a carpet washer. Ugh. And I've just seen some water, but that's fine. Right, that is it. Um, now, as I said, let's see, how do you pull this up? I think there's a lever, isn't there? Now, there may be, and according to which there is, carpet washers that perform better than this. But they don't last very long, especially, well, Vax and Bissell cleaners I've had. The reliability and quality issues on them isn't great. So, in my opinion, this does feel already, it feels like a solid machine. And of course, it's the same machine you can rent, apart from the rental one is uh, red. But more or less, it's the same. 
So if it will withstand being rented out many, many times without breaking, it should last a long time in the average home. Unlike some of the other carpet washers that may perform better, but they won't last as long. So, wow, my very own rug doctor. So I've got the handle. What's this swing ticket say? Oh, it's a quality control. I wonder where this is made. I'll see if it says. I'm assuming possibly it's made in the US of A. So this is the handle which I believe is adjustable. You see there's a little, little lever here, look. Whoops. So you can adjust it to suit your height. So if you're very tall, you can have it up there. I think that's the setting that I would find useful. This works in one direction only. So instead of mo most carpet washers where you make two passes forward and back, normally two with a bissel, you make two wet passes, which means wet means squeezing the solution trigger as you're pushing the machine slowly forward and then pulling it back. And then of course you go over two, two or three times dry passes to help remove the solution. With a rug doctor you have to start at the corner of your room and then press on the spray button. This red button here is controlling the spray and then slowly pull the machine back in one pass and then you go over it again with um, just suction only and pull it back. So it's one pass cleaning, so it should, my carpets aren't filthy, so I should be able to get them clean in one pass. But if they're very dirty, Rug Doctor recommend you wait until it's dry and then do it again. But I have seen some videos on YouTube where they've gone over it multiple times, which you're not supposed to do. But once you've got a machine like this, if you own one, it might take a little bit longer to clean the carpet initially, especially if they haven't been cleaned at all, or if you've moved into a new house or rental property and the carpets are filthy might take initially it might take a while but if you keep up the maintenance and use it maybe every four months or so three to every three or four months you'll find it's it will probably clean in just one pass so there there's the handle and it, again it does feel it does feel like a sort of a more commercial unit and especially the cable is a very commercial grade thick cable obviously this is a, an official UK model so it has the three pin plug Let's have a look. On the top here we've got the controls. Both switches are covered in a little see-through seal so if you have wet hands when you're operating them you should be fine. So basically we've got two switches here, vacuum off, vacuum on and a switch to select when you're using the machine for carpet cleaning or when you attach the hose you need to flick that to tool use. Apparently if you switch the machine on in tool mode, when you haven't got the hose attached, water will just pour out of the bottom of the rug doctor. So you must make sure that when using it in tool mode, you have the hose attached. But when using it in carpet, of course, you make sure it's on the carpet setting. And for any reason, if the rug doctor should cut out, there's a power reset button here. On the back of the handle here, there's a useful guide to show you how to use the Rug Doctor. That's especially important because once you have one of these, you might be lending it out to friends and family. And if you haven't got the instruction book, at least they can look on the back to see what to do. You can see where the mains cable enters the machine and also where the cable goes up to the switch on the handle that there are two very heavy duty cord protectors. So again, everything about this machine is very industrial and built to last. This is where you'd connect your hose for above floor cleaning and again you can see how industrial looking this machine is with real brass connections here. So to use the cleaning hose you'd have to take this hose off here and then connect the stair cleaning and upholstery cleaning hose to the end of that and this also comes off I believe like that and then you'd also connect the shampoo solution tube to there. I'll show you all that when I do a full demo. But yes, it's all very solid. Let's just pop that back. Almost a little bit too solid. It's very industrial. Hang on. Let's pop the hose back in. Make sure the hose is seated properly, especially when you're using it for the carpet cleaning. 
doesn't seem to want to go in I think I have to push it up actually yeah there we go you have to push that up first to release but also when you're putting it back you need to push that collar up and there we go that's locked in position there are two big wheels either side of the rug doctor and they do feel very solid and it makes this cleaner easier to maneuver it is quite a heavy machine but the big wheels do assist in the maneuverability like most carpet cleaners the rug doctor incorporates two tanks one for the dirty and one for the clean one disadvantage though of the rug doctor is the clean water tank is fixed you can't remove it so you have to fill it using a bucket or maybe a washing up bowl so the top tank the white tank is for your dirty water and that's accessed you just lift the cover here ah and here inside we get supplied a litre, that's a bit better than some manufacturers, you only get a tiny sample, that's a litre. Rug Doctor say that should do two average sized rooms, but I did buy myself a big, I think it's a four litre one, which is designed to clean up to eight rooms, but that's certainly enough to get you going. But of course, if you buy a Rug Doctor, you can actually buy the solution from the places you rent it. So in your local supermarket, where you see the Rug Doctor for rental, they normally have all the solutions available to buy so you can just pick them up when you're doing your shopping so that's just a litre size and they do other detergents they do a special pet one and they do various sprays such as um, odour removal um, urine removal and also um, there's an oxy one for removing difficult stains and you can pre-treat the stain before you go over with the rug doctor so here we are this is the recovery tank and it's a very large capacity now one thing if you certainly if you have a larger home oh, it's, it's it's done a little bit of business down there never mind should be just water if you have a larger home a lot of people complain about carpet washers the many times they have to empty and refill but because this is a big capacity machine you should find you having to do that less often so nice sturdy handle so this is where all the dirty water collects and of course when it's uh, full you can empty it empty it out down the drain or toilet. There is no float valve in a rug doctor so you can't use it to pick up spillages. You can only use it to pick up the solution that you've put inside the tank because if you overfill it it won't cut out like the other carpet washers you can buy. They, they normally have a little float. This doesn't so um, you have to be careful about that so as long as you use it for its intended purpose you should be fine so every time you refill the rug doctor you must make sure you empty the dirty water tank and at the top here we've got a little mesh screen you can maneuver it so this screen here prevents pet hair and carpet fibers etc going into the motor so that needs cleaning after every use but of course you must thoroughly vacuum anyway before you use a rug doctor or any carpet cleaner. This is where you'd fill up the rug doctor with hot water and cleaning solution. Now rug doctor recommend that you only use lukewarm water when cleaning wool carpets, but you can use hot water, just hand hot water when you're cleaning everything else. Don't put boiling water into the rug doctor, just really hot water from the tap. Once you put the water in, you actually it's best if you mix the water with the detergent before you pour it in. So into a bucket you could put the detergent. So in this case you'd need 150 millilitres of Rug Doctor carpet detergent or 250 ml of Rug Doctor Oxy Power fabric cleaner. So mix that with the hot water before you pour it into the tank. And when the water level's about halfway here where the mesh screen is, then you know it's full and ready to use. This is the underside of the Rug Doctor that contains three elements to get your carpet clean. First of all, you've got two sprays here, these white jets. They spray the cleaning solution onto the carpet under high pressure. Then you've got this triple brush. We've got two black brushes and a middle yellow brush. That vibrates at high speed to agitate the carpet fibre and it's designed to clean the carpets from both sides. And then finally, at the front here, we've got the suction inlet so that sucks up all the dirty water into the recovery tank. I'm just going to see for myself how noisy this rug doctor is because that was one of the concerns from which 
Okay, let's just switch the vacuum motor on. Yes, it is fairly noisy. Um, you might need ear defenders if you're doing a lot of carpet. Um, yeah, I'll have to get my decibel meter out when I do the review, but that's certainly above the EU recommendations, which is 80 decibels, that's the maximum, but that's for vacuum cleaners. It doesn't actually apply to carpet washers. So yes, it's gonna make quite a bit of noise, but as long as it performs well, I think you can put up with the extra noise that this rug doctor obviously makes. Well, that's about the end of my unboxing and first look at the Rug Doctor Mighty Pro X3 Professional Carpet Cleaner. Please subscribe and click the bell icon and you'll be notified when I upload the demonstration video. You can also check out my carpet washer playlist where you'll find many other brands of carpet washer that I've tested. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.